Hey, what's up you guys? It's Six. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our new upload day. So if it is uh, YouTube that you're watching this on on the regular YouTube, it's Monday. <laughs> uh, but if you are a patron, it is Sunday. I decided to uh, switch up my upload times a little bit. Um, I mentioned it on my community tab earlier in the week just because um, so many times now I've like had people jump in at the very end of the premiere and they were like, oh, I missed it. Um, and so I took a look at my analytics and I was like, when is a good time? When is everybody, when is everybody on the line on my, on my, uh, YouTube channel? And apparently it's Mondays at one. So, um, I'm going to try out the new upload schedule, see how that goes for a little bit. Um, and just kind of experiment, uh, with upload times for a little bit. So if you want to make sure that you're seeing my YouTube videos, please absolutely 100% make sure you are subscribed to the channel, number one. Uh, and number two, that you you have my notifications turned on because apparently a lot of you do but also a lot of you don't so if you're one of those people that don't go and jump on that um so getting into today's video this is actually a collab once more with sunflower cafe and collective um they are a local cafe here in kansas where i am located and i love them so so very much um i think it's really fun to go over there and kind of like experiment with making a fun little drink menu that i think that i can create characters based off of um i have been loving pink so so much lately and it's valentine's day so you know i had to go up to Sunflower for our first collab of the year uh, and get some Valentine's Day drinks going. So I'm just going to get straight into that. So the first one that we have here is... So quickly before we jump into our first drink, I just want to mention that these will actually be uh, Procreate speed paints um, of these pieces. Um, like the one that you download from Procreate rather than how I would normally upload, which would be like a screen recording of me working on the piece. Just because I did these in such a short span of time um, and put, well, a short span of time. I spent a long time on these, but it was such a time crunch. Like I'm telling you, I finished these the day before they released. So <laughs> it was just a lot of chaos. And it was so much easier for me to just work on them rather than worrying about recording them and making sure everything looks good and all of that because so much extra things go through my mind when I am uh, recording a speed paint. So I just wanted to get these all done, but I still wanted to be able to like do a YouTube video and show you guys. So these are going to be the Procreate speed paints, but if you're new here, this is not how I normally upload. Do not worry. Anyways, the first drink that we have, which ironically is also my favorite sticker, is the Honey Berry Tea. So, uh, again, these are Valentine's Day drinks, so I wanted all of them to kind of have cutesy names and stuff. Um, I'm sure somebody knows somebody out there who calls their partner Honey Bear, so that is what this drink is inspired by. It is a raspberry honey tea, so it's all very, very simple. Um, also, there's an optional, an optional option <laughs> uh, to add honey popping boba because... I didn't know that was a thing. I knew popping boba was a thing. Honey flavored popping boba. It's actually, it is so good. Um, I have used it in many of the drinks that I've done throughout my collabs with Sunflower before. It is so refreshing. I think it is really, really tasty. Um, the design for this sticker is actually my favorite of all of the four. Um, well, one of my favorites. I think it's kind of a tie between the um, bleeding heart one you guys will see uh, later on in the video. Um, but she was super, super easy. I mean, I literally just had to like pull together a bunch of golds and pinks. I gave her some little bear ears and a raspberry beret. I could not stop myself. Um, it's a raspberry themed character. Uh, and she just looked like she suited it. I gave her these little twin braids, which by the way, the braids were so fun to render. Um, like I normally hate doing braids, which is ironic because fun fact one of my favorite characters in the world edward elric full metal alchemist himself has a braid but braids are notoriously difficult to draw for some people um and i normally am one of those people however i think my practice with drawing at all of the time has made me um much more adept at drawing braids and i think these particular twin braids came out just so cute they were so chunky and so pretty and even like cuter than I'd imagined them when I did the initial sketch for this piece. I just adore them so much. I think they're so freaking cute. I'm very, very happy with them. Um, I'm really happy with her hair in general because I actually very last minute decided to do a gradient from like a light blonde to a darker blonde. So it kind of looked like dripping honey, if that makes sense. Um, 
and I just thought it turned out so cute and like so the colors the colors for this whole collab I am just so cheesed with <laughs> I really like um pinks and pastels and stuff but everything was just so vibrant and girly and pretty and I love it I love it I think it is just so pretty and that's why this is one of my favorite stickers I mean just the colors her cute little face her little bear ears everything was just too precious it's also the most popular one so far because fun fact little plug here um these are available on my coffee shop it's coffee.com slash six studios uh if you want to go and do that oh and use code vday14 for 14 percent off you have until valentine's day to use that code to get 14 percent off your order um it is the most popular sticker of the bunch so far um I'm curious to see if that is the same at Sunflower as well, um, because I haven't had a chance to go in there since making these, so we will see. Um, but it's, it's definitely my favorite sticker so far, so let's move on to the next one. So the next sticker and a drink we have is the quintessential thing that I think of when I think of Valentine's Day. I think of sweet, I think of pink, and I think of cute, and that drink is the sweetheart. So this is a strawberry and white chocolate smoothie. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually taste this drink yet. Uh, most of the time what we do when we do these collabs is, you know, we make uh, tiny versions of them, we do a little taste test, and we, you know, kind of see how flavors work together, but this one is so simple that I knew that it was going to work um i mean strawberry and white chocolate it's yummy i'm really excited about it i probably definitely will be going in at some point throughout the month to go and taste it for myself because strawberry and white chocolate hello it just sounds so good and i really really want one um for now let's chat about the design here so again um i wanted this drink to kind of just be like the quintessential this is Valentine's, <laughs> like 100%. There's no getting around it. You look at the sticker and it's like, this is Valentine's Day themed. Um, I wanted her to kind of like be this like love struck kind of like schoolgirl crushy kind of vibe like she's got like the big hard eyes and like the little quivering lips and the blushy cheeks and everything. I just wanted her to look so like love struck you know um and i feel like that really came across in the initial sketch but by the time i got to her line art i think this was like the third one that i'd done in the actual like order of working on these and i hated her <laughs> i was so upset i think uh because she was like close to the last i started getting a little crazy um, because like i said i was on an insane crush crush crunch when i was working on these pieces um and so i just started to like have this disconnect from like my head and my hand and my eyes and i just was like i can't like this i can't um but i know that it's not bad I know logically that it looks fine, but I feel like it doesn't. And then I started putting color on it and I was like, no, it's cute. <laughs> I really, I just, I don't know what it was about the liner. I even told my partner, I was like, I absolutely hate the liner. What's happening? Why do I hate this? And he was like, it's cute. <laughs> what, what do you not like about it? And I was like, I don't know. And I just started putting color on it. And then I was like, I was crazy. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, and I know I sound like crazy because it's my own art and I'm just like sitting here going like, it's cute, it's cute. The reason I think these are so cute is because they are my favorite color palette and like aesthetic, I guess. Um, everything's really, um, you know, pinks and reds and like uh, glossy and shiny and cute. It's cute. They're cute. I think they're cute. Uh, I really, really like them. Um, but anyway. Once I put colors on these, especially once I got her hair down, her, like, I, I kind of struggled a little bit with getting the tone of pink right. I'm sure you guys will see me mess around with the sliders a lot in this bead paint. Her hair will probably color more for a little bit. Um, but I finally settled on, like, the perfect pink color and then I got to go in with the white at the end to kind of bring in like the little white chocolate elements and it was so cute my favorite part of this whole piece though um I think is her cardigan it's like a uh, pink and white um oh I don't think it's gingham is gingham the check no I think it's just checkerboard I don't think it's gingham I think it is so cute um and I made that up in my head I'm sure there is one that exists but just I it hit my brain the instant that I started sketching it just like this pink and white checkered cardigan with little heart-shaped buttons and I thought she would look super adorable in it and she does my opinion I do I do think she looks very very cute uh so that is the sweetheart 
And coming in next, we have my other favorite, the one that is tied with our honey bear, which is totally opposite in vibe, and that is the bleeding heart. So uh, we wanted to do at least one drink that was sort of like anti-Valentine's, but still with like a touch of Valentine's in there. Um, definitely like as far as like color palette and aesthetic goes. Um, but I wanted it to be like, because we, we all know that one friend that like just absolutely hates Valentine's Day for various different reasons um, that are so valid. <laughs> I was like, I want to have a drink and a sticker out there for the person that is just like the hater the one that hates valentine's day i want them to be involved i, I want something to be about them on that day right so this is a black cherry based affogato or black cherry based no it's blackberry so the coffee is blackberry flavored which their blackberry coffee is delicious um with a cherry soft serve which by the way the soft serve that goes on top of this affogato it's vegan and it is delicious. It's, uh, I think, oatly based um, with like cherries mixed in. It is so good. It is so good. Oh my God. I love the soft serve there. It is delightful as someone who normally does not like vegan ice cream. Um, like Halo Top, never sponsor me because I hate you. I think Halo Top tastes like alcohol. It's weird. It has like a fermented nastiness aftertaste. Oatly? I like her. She's yummy. Um, and then the girl that does the soft serve there, she makes all of her own different flavors and stuff with like the oatly bases. Um, my favorite so far is the matcha and the, oh, oh, what was the, I think it was like cookies and cream. I don't know. It's good. I love it. Um, so yeah, affogato. I like to have at least one affogato in there. Um, also, just because I like to have a variety of different like drinks and stuff. Um, so I don't want like every single one in the collab to be a coffee because like some people don't like coffee so i like to have a tea i like to have a coffee and then i like to have two kind of like uh variations of like you know it could be a soda it could be a smoothie it could be a milkshake it could be an affogato you know what have you so i like to do some of those but anyway getting into the design so this was actually the first one i designed fun fact um i knew again that i wanted it to be like an anti-balance Valens, anti valentine's theme uh so i wanted to go very punk rock very hardcore um with this character um tons of piercings like if you think about like the jelly art style which somebody did comment on um a short that i made of this piece and say that it was jelly art style that is what i was doing it was very intentional i love the jelly art style i was very inspired by it at the time um so i wanted to do like a ton of piercings and like super shiny makeup and spiky hair and huge eyes and i just i, I went a little ham on it i had so much fun doing this piece but ironically my favorite thing about this entire character you would think would be her face or her makeup or something like that wrong it's the little beads in her hair <laughs> she has like uh these little like uh, broken heart like jewel charms in her hair um and the red dangly parts are supposed to represent like blood because again it's the bleeding heart um and just rendering them they looked so juicy i wanted to pop one in my mouth like a pomegranate seed it looked so like shiny and pretty and adorable and they were so fun to render and i wish i had 500 million of them to do like i'm still thinking about rendering them <laughs> they were I, like i dream about it i don't know what happened in my hand that day um but it was just incredible it was incredible and they were so cute and i really really like them um but yeah that is my second favorite for sure and last but not least, we have our sweet talk drink. So the sweet talk drink is actually um, the one on the menu that I like to keep kind of simple. I like to have one that's like a DIY sort of aspect where it's like, um, if you don't like crazily flavored drinks and everything, you don't have to order like a blackberry coffee. You know what I mean? It's like you can just get something really simple, just your basic coffee, however you like to order it because Sunflower has so, so many options. So you get your coffee however you want and then you have the fun little add-on which in this case is a conversation heart and cold foam because if you're like me um one of the main things that you may think of when it comes to valentine's day is conversation hearts they are very controversial some people really love them some people really hate them um i really love them just because i i grew up with them being like a staple of valentine's day um just like imagery wise um a lot of you know valentine's um decor when you go into stores is conversation hearts um a lot of like 
valentines come with like little baggies of them and stuff like that um so i think valentines i think conversation hearts so i knew i had to have at least one uh character design for this collab be conversation heart based uh so that's how we worked those in um and then the design for this one i it kind of went like <sighs> I don't want to say it did a 180 because there are definitely elements of it that I kept similar. Um, but this one was really interesting actually because it was based off of an illustration that I had made way back last year. Um, and I ended up like using it as kind of like a base, but also not at all. So let me explain. Um, it started out as a like kind of 1950s themed piece of this character that was like talking on a landline. I um, mean, that's all I could remember about the piece because I had drawn it so long ago and I hadn't seen it in a while. Um, so I just kind of vaguely sketched something like that while I was there um, designing the menu. And then when I got home, I scoured my room for this piece and I finally found it. And I looked at it and I was like, hmm. <laughs> This is not going to work because number one, it would work so much better as a print. Um, and then number two, um, the original design had her um, talking on the phone and applying lipstick, um, which I still think is really cute. And I do want to come back to that illustration at some point and kind of like make a piece of that. Um, but I just didn't think it would work for this particular um, illustration, uh, especially because the her applying lipstick thing uh, broke symmetry, which if you haven't noticed, um, I did most of these, well, all of them, um, using the symmetry tool because I've been seeing so many people use it lately and I just think it looks really interesting. Um, like having this perfectly symmetrical design and then breaking symmetry in a few different places. And I really just kind of wanted to mess around and experiment with that. And also partially because I had such a crunch that I was like, that would be really helpful if I only technically had to draw half of the face. Um, and as much as I, you know, wanted to break similar, uh, symmetry, oh my goodness, in some places, um, having her doing like an entirely different thing with her hand um on both sides I felt like broke symmetry just a little bit too much and she would stand out way more from all of the other um illustrations and character designs uh in the set so I ended up not doing that and instead what I did was I kept the landline theme but then I had her talking on two phones at once because like she's a sweet talker you know what I mean so she's talking to two different people at once I just thought it was a funny little idea kind of like a cheeky um sort of portrayal of that type of character um and then rather than going 1950s i kind of went more for like a y2k aesthetic because y2k has been heavily coming back like i'm sure we've all seen it um and then just the conversation heart themes and the fact that i grew up in the y2k era um i felt like it was really um familiar imagery for me so that is what i uh ended up doing for this piece and i really really like her especially i really like um her hair i like the gradient that i did the little like uh, brown to blonde to pink. I just think it was really pretty. I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to pull it off. And then the last second, I kind of like did some tweaking with the layer modes and I managed to find a good sort of gradient and I really, really like it. Anyways, wrapping the video up. So here they are all finished and complete. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. Uh, and if you're near the Wichita area, I highly, highly encourage you to go to Sunflower Cafe and Collective, try these drinks, get these stickers, check out all the other amazing local artisans there. We have crafters and bakers and illustrators and painters of all sorts it is quite it is a collective it is amazing there are so many creative people in that space that I would highly recommend you go and check out their work including mine of course um and if you do that I am ever so grateful however um if you're not in the Wichita area or anywhere you know near Kansas at all um I decided that I would list these on my shop I didn't in the past but I realized that so many of you like absolutely are not gonna have the chance to ever be able to go there because you're like halfway across the country or something like that um so I did decide to make these available in my shop. I am going to go back to previous collabs um, and upload some of my favorites from those as well. Um, so if you're interested in seeing those, those will be up on my shop very soon. Speaking of my shop, once again, I just want to say these are available on my coffee shop. So that is coffee.com slash six studios. I will have it on screen. It's like co dash fi not coffee like the beverage i know we're talking about coffee a lot in this video but it's not that kind of coffee anyways um and remember use code vday14 for 14 percent off at checkout you have to actually type it in manually as you're checking out it is not like a it's not like when i used to do um sales on my etsy shop how it would just like 
blanket cover the whole thing already automatically you have to type that code in so remember to do that if that's something that you're interested in thank you to those who have already grabbed these stickers or checked them out at sunflower i really love and appreciate you so much um speaking of people i love and appreciate as always, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, Elise Thompson, Doran, Mandy, Schleeps, Created by Twins, Inky Moo Art, Psychwalker Art, Fish Nor Flesh, Akita Kai, Watery Turd, Daru, Aurora Inks, and Klohime. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to support me every single month. I had so much fun with January's rewards, like a ridiculous amount of fun getting to hand embellish all of those with the glitter and then just the designs in general. I, they were so soft and so cute and so like I just, I, I looked at them. I kept looking at them the whole time I had that print and I just was staring at it and I was like you are you're adorable I had so much fun with you I cannot wait to work on February's rewards which speaking of the rewards for each month the theme vote is public so you can go on there right now and decide what the theme for February will be so if you see from the three in that lineup one that you really really want go vote and then join the patreon for the month and then you only have to join for a month and you get art that you wanted <laughs> uh and then you don't have to stay or you can stay like these lovely peeps that have been here with me for quite a while you guys are amazing as are those of you who are watching this youtube video i appreciate y'all so much as well i cannot wait i have a really really fun video next week fun fact a really fun video so if you want to find out why that video is so fun once again subscribe to this channel turn my notifications on i love you guys so so much and i'll see you all in the next one bye